guys, it's Kia from Petals Bath Boutique and today I am making liquid soap. And I really should have started, um, I really should have brought you guys in from the beginning and I just now realized, hey, I should probably re-record this. But um, I have three oils in here and it's coconut, palm oil, and castor oil. And so, um, I melted my oils first and then I added my lye water and I've been stick blending for about maybe six minutes and it looks like it's just starting to get to like a light trace so I'm going to keep stick blending and get this to a thick trace and um, I'll bring you back once I've done that. Wow. Oh my gosh, I did something wrong. I had it in here. It was taking forever to thicken up so I um, went to look at my instructions again to make sure I wasn't doing something wrong and I came back it hasn't even been five minutes and I just had to pry my stick blender out of this so I don't know I'm just gonna turn this uh, the crock pot on and start cooking it I'm going to assume that this is traced and um, I'm just gonna start cooking it and see what happens and hopefully I didn't just ruin this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. But it was like it it was milky, like it was looking like milk at first. And then um it started to get thick. And then I stepped away from it for a second and it was like thin again. And it had turned more of like a buttermilk color. And so I was thinking maybe I did something wrong. So I went to refer back to my instructions and this is what I just came back to. That can't even be stirred. So I don't know. I'm just going to turn the heat on low and let it cook for a bit and see what happens. And I will bring you guys back to see what's going on. All right. Okay. So um, I pretty much, I was able to get the stick blender sort of cleaned up and I broke this up as best as I could. And I don't know. I mean, it is, as you can see, extremely thick. So I don't know that I bought that I just like really skip some phases here because I thought I was supposed to go through like a a pudding and a taffy and a thick mashed potatoes and none of that happened. At least it didn't happen before my eyes. So I'm just gonna put the lid on here and let it start to cook. Maybe leave this for about 10 minutes and come back and check it. And then regardless, I'm just gonna do a three hour cook no matter what and see what happens. But um yeah, <laughs> I'll keep you updated. Here we go. It's been an hour, and I'm just stirring it. There's no separation or anything. It is still crazy thick, but it is making more. Oh, back up, steaming. It is uh, making more noise than it was before, and the bottom does seem to be a little bit more pliable. I don't know. But, okay, so it's about maybe 13 minutes left on this cook. Let me see. About thir 13 minutes left on this cook. So, I'm going to set it for another hour. And see what happens. Alright, so I think we are at a good point now. Oh, it's still hard. But it is turning um, translucent got sort of a oh look at this over here it's like liquid got a jelly look so I'm just gonna stir it up or try to stir it up I think I have one more hour to go and then I'll let it sit overnight or let it sit for 24 hours and um, see what we have so I'll set this for one more hour and bring you back after that Try to stir this up. It's still pretty hard. I think it's supposed to be soft. Okay. Okay. 26 more minutes to go. And um, to me, it's looking pretty translucent. So I'm going to try to give this a stir. I have a stainless steel spoon this time. It's still pretty tough though, but I'll give this a stir and let it finish out the last. Uh, 20 minutes or so and then I'll just let it sit for 24 hours and I should have some paste. 
I did do earlier, I know it was too soon, but I did try dissolving some in some water and it was cloudy, so it's definitely not ready yet. But I'll finish out this this cook and see what we have after that. So we're at the end of the third hour and it's looking pretty translucent to me. I haven't tried to stir it yet. Oh, still pretty hard. I guess this is just the paint nail. Pretty translucent, so that's it for today, and I'll let it sit overnight. Okay, I totally forgot to bring you guys back. Um, we let it sit overnight, and this is our coconut cream liquid soap paste. So this is going to be the base for the uh, the liquid soap. So um, as you can see, it's pretty translucent. Um, I cooked it last night. I wasn't sure this morning, so I just gave it an extra 30 minutes just to be safe. And then um, I did a little sample bit. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, you put the lid on that. I'm making... Okay. I'm making just a small amount right here. It's about, this is gonna be about eight, just over eight ounces. Cause I just wanted to test it um, before making that full amount. But um, this is the diluting, dilution phase. And I did, um, I think we did one and a half parts distilled water to uh, one part uh, paste. And I also added just a bit of borax as a neutralizer. And just in case, we're waiting to see it's still, um, thank you. My mom is helping me with this. <laughs> She's my meggers. <laughs> but um, it's still uh, melting here. So I think I'm going to turn the heat back on because it's starting to thicken up and all of the chunks aren't gone. So we're going to turn it back on low just to see what happens. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need to add a thickener because I plan on using um, a foamer for this. So I'm thinking we're not gonna have to uh, use a thickener, but I do have some glycerin and, um, is it Zactin? <laughs> I can't say it, but um, some Zactin, I'll spell it. Zactin, how do you say it? Xanthan, oh, xanthan gum. Starts with an X. Some xanthan gum uh, on the side, just in case. I still might add a little bit of glycerin to this, but we'll see. We'll get this fully melted and go from there. So if there are any more changes, um, I'll bring you back. But I'll probably bring you back when we're ready to add the fragrance and preservative and get it bottled up. All right. Okay, so... We just added, sorry, I've been running up and down the steps, but we just added the uh, preservative and the fragrance oil, which caused it to cloud ever so slightly, but we weren't going for a super clear soap anyway. And since this is for us, we also added um, a little bit of pearl mica to give it a bit of a pearlescent look to it. And um, the total amount of water we wound up using was actually two parts water to one part paste. And this is a high coconut oil uh, soap. And I'm gonna put it in a foamer. Sorry about my nails. But we're gonna put this into a foamer. So we did. We also didn't want a super thick um, gel as well. We want it to be somewhat loose because it's going into the foamer. So um, we're gonna pour this in and I'll bring you back to see what we got. Okay, so our liquid soap has cooled down, and so now we're going to test it out in our foamer. So we got a nice foam. Get some water going. A nice creamy lather. Really making it, oh my goodness, it smells so good. We went with moon water fragrance and it just, we wanted something fresh. It just smells so good. It's kind of a beachy, fresh scent.
clean rinse. All right. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>